One of the most popular career tracks in 2022, and for that matter, if you're watching this video in future years, it will probably be popular in those years as well, is business analytics. Companies are valuing this skill set more than ever, and the salaries are right there with it. You're looking at anywhere from 80,000 a year to 134, with the average being just over six figures. Now, business analytics isn't necessarily a new concept, but what is new about it is that a company's ability to collect data on their products, their services, the market, their customers is better than ever. If a company wants to make better business decisions, then they need to understand how to use that data effectively. Companies recognize this opportunity and more and more these days, you're going to find jobs that have business analytics in the job description, or in some case, the job role is literally just business analytics. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the three best online course tracks for business analytics, all of which can be found on one of my favorite online learning platforms, Coursera. All the courses I'll be mentioning to you, by the way, are going to be found in the links in the description down below. So make sure to check those out and also make sure to stay till the very end because I've got a bonus course track for you that I think you'll find very interesting. So with that said, let's get started. The first one is a course entitled not surprisingly, business analytics specialization. This is offered from the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School of Business, one of the best business schools in the world. The school itself has a global university ranking of 13. There are five courses in this track. So all the, all the course tracks I'll be mentioning in this video, they are a series of courses that deal with business analytics. So specialization rating, this is from all the users that have taken it on Coursera and have provided a rating. It's 4.6 out of five stars. So it happens to be a very popular course track. And it's also quite suitable for beginners if you do not have any background at all in business analytics. Now, seeing as it is one of the best universities in the world, this is probably not a bad specialization to consider. And they've divided their content up into five courses, one of which is actually a capstone, where if you're familiar with any capstone, really it's just the culmination of everything that you had been learning up until that point and brings it all together into something that you apply to a project of some sort. Now, I really like the way they approach how they've divided up this content because it gives a really comprehensive view, I would say an end-to-end -end view of just about, on where data analysis can be applied across an organization. And each course keys in on one of these areas. First is customer analytics. Second is operations analytics. Third is people analytics. And lastly, accounting analytics. And depending on what part of a company you end up in, you might be focusing on one of these areas in particular, or you might be in some generalist role where you would also have an advantage. So if you're in a role that crosses all these different functions, or at least more than one function, then again, you'll have an advantage having taken this course track so that you see how data analysis is applied and how, again, decisions made in one place can affect the business elsewhere. The second course track also happens to be titled Business Analytics Specialization. However, the school that offers this one is the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, also another really great university. The ranking, they actually ranked at 72 most recently, and they have about six courses in this track with a 4.7 out of five star rating. The experience level here is still mostly for beginners. And I also put a little bit of, it's a little bit intermediate as well because they do go into a little bit more detail on some of the tools. Now, what excites me about this specialization is how hands-on you'll be getting with some of these tools. So here you'll actually learn some code through our studio, but I can assure you that it is quite approachable even if you have no coding experience. Again, the end goal here is if you have a business challenge, you have all this data, you're trying to organize it, or I should say collect it, organize it, and then analyze and come to some kind of meaningful business insights, that's really what you're doing. You're not coding for the sake of coding, you're coding for some end goal. So I think in that way it's approachable and the professor is also fantastic at teaching the subject. You'll also be hands-on with Microsoft Power BI, which is 
a data visualization software that's becoming more and more popular at major companies. I've used it for many, many years at this point. It's really great. As well as Alteryx, which is another software that's used in data aggregation and analysis. So you're gonna be learning some pretty concrete skills here. It's not all just conceptual. It's not all just you reading about business analytics or data analysis. You're gonna be using tools that are used in the real world. In some cases, you may actually be able to apply what you learn in the specialization in real time on the job. Obviously, it depends on a little bit of what you're doing in your day-to-day -day job, but it is highly applicable in a lot of different job functions. I personally really enjoyed the coursework when I was a student at the University of Illinois pursuing my online MBA and I took some of the courses that this professor offered, I found it quite enjoyable and learned a lot of really concrete skills, which was amazing. Which speaking of, I've got a whole entire series documenting my journey through my online MBA program through the University of Illinois. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to check out the link below or the card above for that video series. So the third course here is advanced business analytics specialization. A little bit different, it's advanced. This course track is offered by the University of Colorado Boulder. The global university ranking is 62, so pretty high up there. And the number of courses in this track, there are five courses, again, similar to the first one where one of these is a capstone. The rating here is a 4.4. The experience level though is, I would say, on the more intermediate side. Now this one I definitely wanted to include because the first two course tracks are geared more towards beginners. This one takes it a step further because it goes into a little bit more detail on many more tools that are used in data analysis. And there's more of a focus here around predictive modeling, which really is the ultimate goal for any kind of analytics work is that you're better able to predict the future. And for that, there are a number of different software packages. There's even plugins in Excel that can also help you do that. And to top it off, like any good business analytics course, there's also coursework on how to communicate your findings and how to show it visually. Now, I should also mention that the three universities I've listed here also happen to offer a master's of science in business analytics. So if you end up really enjoying some of the coursework that I've already shown to you and you wanna get really serious about it and you want to earn a degree in the process, you can check out their websites down below. I'll link it all in the description. And you can also check out my video on that degree, which depending on when you watch this video, I may or may not have that posted, but once I do, it will be in the description below, of course. And now for the bonus track. The last one here is Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. Now this is not offered by university, it's actually offered by Google. There are eight courses in this track, so quite a bit more involved than the previous ones. Has a 4.8 out of five star rating, and so far there have been, at least as of the making of this video, about 63,000 users that have taken this specialization and have rated it. Uh, experience level, this is between beginner and intermediate. I've actually mentioned this course, this specialization before in one of my other videos, which you can check out as well. Google has invested a lot more money into offering all this education through Coursera. So there's a lot of stuff that Google offers beyond just uh, data analytics, which is what this is. Again, it's not necessarily business analytics, but I would argue that anything data analytics, you would use that because you're trying to make better business decisions. So I would say this is applicable. And who better to learn data analytics from than a company whose core business relies on collecting lots of data, organizing it, and then analyzing it to then make their products better. Now for more information on data analyst roles, or you wanna learn a little bit more about Coursera as an online learning platform, do make sure to check out these two videos where I go into a lot more detail about those topics.